Welcome to the car guys and this week, yes, finally it's ready. The 993 C4S Porsche 911 that I bought from Scotland on collecting cars has been fully prepared and paint detailed and corrected and fluidy and what are all the other things that you're supposed to do to make the paint perfect on an older car. So I've come down here to first choice detailing. We're gonna go through exactly what's been done to the car. I'm gonna find out from Jake, the owner of this company, what state it was in and what they've done to correct it. And of course, I'm gonna drive it away. So if that's all right with you, let's get started. So here we are, I'm in the FCD nerve center, first choice detailing, and I'm here with the owner and magician of the company, <laughs> Jake. Hi there, you are, David. <laughs> <laughs> what we're gonna do today is take you through what condition this car was in, and then more importantly, we're gonna go through exactly what Jake and his team have done to turn this car into what it is today. We're gonna to show you it in detail. We're gonna show you exactly the condition now of this car, and then of course, I'm going to drive it away. So Jake, first thing that people are going to want to know is what was the condition of this car when I brought it to you? To be fair to the previous owner, it was in good condition for what, being 22 years old, wash marks, a few stain chips for its ages, normal, fall out on the car, swell marks from bad washing. So considering the age and more importantly, considering the fact it was from Scotland, yeah. Wasn't too bad. No, not considered, it's not, not rusty, not rusted away yet. Let's go around the car. Yep. You can highlight all the bits really okay. that you had to look at or spend some special yep. time going through. And then you can then reveal to us what you had to do, the <laughs> stages of transforming this car into basically the showroom condition that it is right now. Perfect, we came for it then. Let's Sound it. good? Yeah, let's do it. We look at the bonnet here. Um, this has definitely been painted in the past, but then a car of 20 years old, you wouldn't expect anything different. Um, if we look down here in parts of it, you can see it's a bit mossily, got some DA marks. What's um, a DA mark? Sanding marks, basically. Been painted, and then they flat it back, they lacquer back, um, and there's just a few marks still left in the paint. But mainly it was stone chips? Yeah, just stone chips that have been obviously been repainted for. And nowadays you've got PPF, paint protection film, that goes over to prevent that from happening. Um, but back 22 years ago, paint protection film wasn't around. It's the wash marks and the... Um, just wash marks, marring, tar. There's a bit of a what about this area? Didn't, they, didn't you have some yeah, issue, these issue are, here? <clears throat> no, they're not issues. They're just, this is just the original, I guess, original OEM film, which is the Stone Guard paint protection film. As you can see, it's not in great condition. I would like to remove that and replace it. But the issue with that, obviously, is we don't know the quality necessarily of the paint. So you, if you take it off, it could be yeah, paint. Yeah, it could. It could. Hopefully, that won't be the case. Obviously not had paint, but you've got a bit of rust coming through here, Damien. Um, again, it is 22 years old, so. Tell me about the, uh, the badge as well. What did you find that when was, you uh, that took was, that off? That was super late. <laughs> so, so one of the bolts had sort of sheared Yeah, underneath. sheared off and they super glued it back on. Hmm. Um, so I think that's quite retro, I think that needs to stay. As we already know, this is not the original tailgate, or should I say spoiler. Um, but if you look here, there's a slight difference between the two colors. So they've just got it out slightly. Yeah, you can, you can pretty much see that, I think. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's almost impossible to see with the naked eye, but when you yeah, put yeah. torch Dave, on... Yeah, don't forget, we work on these cars every day, so we get to see more, and we get, especially under the lights we work under. So it's worth pointing out, obviously, we've got the original spoiler over here, which, unfortunately, is not in brilliant shape. It's got quite a lot of scratches on it, so we may have to get that repainted, um, certainly buffed up quite seriously before we consider putting it back on the car. Yeah. I'm quite a big fan of the tech art spoiler that's on there, but I appreciate that the entire internet thinks <laughs> that the original should go back on. So that's definitely one thing we've got lined up, but I think if, I, if we put that on there now, it'll obviously look quite ropey compared to the rest of the paint. Yeah, I would have thought, yeah, I would, I would probably recommend removing it and having it painted. Another thing we've noticed, obviously, with the wheels, they're in good condition, but somebody in the past has refurbed them. Um, but again, nothing you wouldn't expect for a car this age, but we can overcome that. Um, I, the calipers, I don't know if you can focus in on down there, Damien, but they could do being refurbed at a later date. Um, but other than that- But it's not a deal breaker, I suppose. No, not at all. We don't want to start pulling the car apart, 
it is in really good condition. I mean, obviously the lenses at the back, they seem like they're in pretty good condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, for its, again, for its age, in very good condition. What was the thing you mentioned about the exhaust pipes? One of them was like... Yeah, the, slightly, the one slightly on the, on the skew with it. Um, so that needs adjusting. And interior-wise, was there any little sort of secrets you found in here? I think somebody's colonised part of a bit of the seat, but no, other than that, it's... So colonised means, means it's been, been painted, painted in the past. Rather than refurbished the leather. A cheaper option. Right, OK. So we've got a bit of painted bit of painted, bit of painted <laughs> So it's sort tan. of fake tan. Then. <laughs> bit of fake tan. You, hmm. It's hard to tell sometimes, but yeah, it's definitely had a bit of paint in places. It looks dirty, but actually... That classic dealer trick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's what the car was like when it arrived. And obviously now we're going to learn about the magic that's been done to turn it into the car that I'm looking at right now. We'll give you all the sumptuous visuals that you could possibly demand. Jake, if you could take us through really all the stages that you had to go through to take it from what it was to what we're looking at right now. Okay, not a problem. So the car came in, obviously went round it with paint depth. And then obviously into the wash area outside, yep. car's washed. We use G-Technique. Um, okay. because we use their coating, so we try to use the majority of their wash products. Is that multiple products, g technically? Yeah, so if we go through real basics, then you'll see the wheel cleaner, which is like an iron X, like an ammonia on the wheels to break down all the brake dust. Arches with a degreaser, pressure wash the paintwork down with a, a pH neutral degreaser. Important. <laughs> Important, so pH hard, neutral. Hard yeah, you water. don't want caustic. And then snow foam, pH neutral which frames the vehicle up, and then you brush all the edges to get all the dirt out of the edges, like say, for also the rubbers here, pressure wash off the snow foam, two bucket method, one with water, one with shampoo, top to bottom, in straight lines, very softly, gently touch the paint, pressure wash that off, yep. preferably air dry it, and then pack dry with big drying towels, not a chamois cloth. Reason of chamois, the dirt sticks to the edge, it will in a, in a towel, it will bury itself if you were to pick any grit up. So you've got three bays. Three bays. This is sort of a, yeah. yeah, this is sort of a finishing bay to double car detailing bay, double car paint protection film bay. So the, the far one is if paint protection film, film, and then the middle. stuff, and then this one would have sat in the middle bay. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So this would go under the dark light, so you can pick up all the imperfections. So when you machine polish and you've got a guide, okay. So you start when you remove the swells, you can actually see that you're removing them. So the next stage, clay bar. This is what it looks like. This is a piece of clay. So you warm it up in your hand. And what we're going to do, I'm going to spray the panel that we're doing, which is the sections, the masking tape around it. Clay bar goes onto the panel. And you're literally gently rubbing it over the paint. So it glides over with the lubricant from the quick detailer. And what you're going to find here, we are picking up contaminants that you can't wash off with the wash process. So when we get a machine polish the car after the next stage, we're not going to pick up these bits in the head of the polisher. Sometimes it can take you half an hour, sometimes it can take a few hours to remove all the contaminants from the paintwork. And then we panel wipe the car to remove any oils or fillers that using, might have been... Using what, special cloth? No, just panel wipes, alcohol and two microfibers. Basically all the, cut, all the swells have then shown up even more because you've pulled everything out of the paint and you might have put a few marks in yourself with the clay bar. And then you choose your polishing combination. Obviously we've chosen an enhancement detail mm -hmm. which should remove like 80 to 90% of the swell marks. There was a lot in this paint. So this is a wall pad, this is gonna be our first stage. This is quite an aggressive way of polishing, but I find it the best way to remove all the swells. Um, we've done our combination, and these are the two polishes that I'm gonna go for. That's my heavy cut, Koch Kemi. This is to remove, hopefully 90% of the swells as we're only doing enhancement. And then after that stage, we're gonna go for a soft pad. It's very soft. This is for the refining stage. So after this stage, we're going to panel wipe to remove any of the fillers and oils from the polish that's been left behind. And then we are going to refine with perfect finish on a white pad, which is soft. So to remove all the swell marks, we've gone around the whole car with that. So that's a machine polish. With a machine here. polish here. Okay. Um, and then we panel wiped it again and then gone around the car again with a finishing compound and a soft polishing head to refine it to give this glossy look. And then we've panel wiped it again <laughs> and then put on the G-Technique coatings, which is the Crystal Serum Ultra, which is an authorised product only that you opted for. So now we're on to the ceramic coat. Damien's opted for the Crystal Serum Ultra, which is an authorised product only. 
and we're going to apply this right now. Um, so you can watch us do this. We only do it in a small section at a time because you don't want to be missing any bits. And then we left it overnight to cure and then put on the XOV4, which is the hydrophobic coating, which gives it even more gloss. And when you wash it, you get that all important bead. So yeah, easier yeah. to the, the water. The American water bead flies yeah, off. Flies off and makes your life easier. So now we're going to apply G Technics XOV4. So last night we applied the G Technics Serum Ultra and we like to leave that overnight preferably. It is a minimum of three hours, but I like to leave it longer to make sure it's cured before again we apply the XOV4. All the coats we apply as well are all about, you, you really want the room about 15 degree minimum um, for it to work correctly. Anything else? Is that it? Fights the hydrophobic, hydro, hydroponic. Like so, and then, okay, after that, if you want it, we've done all the rubbers with like seal feed, yep. which is a Swiss Fax product. Glass with G Technique, clean the glass. Oh, we did your wheels feet as well. Okay. So, remove the wheels, sorry. Yes. So, what did you do? Took them off. Took them off, cleaned them again. Inside and out. Outside, yeah. Took them back onto the wheel trolley. And then we put the G Technique C5 wheel armor on the wheels to make, again, your life or our life easier when we wash it. <laughs> so that's just looking fabulous, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, looks good. Looks like new. You've gone through, obviously, and, and just cleaned it up. A what bit you can done. get to, it's quite hard to get to that engine, as you can see. It is a big old engine in a small area. Uh, so we've washed it with degreaser and a steamer. Interesting little here. point here. We've got a sticker. The Mobile One sticker's actually got a 996 <laughs> on it for no apparent reason. This is the finished... Product. So, so in your professional opinion, how do you think it's come up? Good. Good. So not excellent. <laughs> not excellent. Not fantastic. It's come up just well. Good. It's come up well. It, you know, you, details. I'm sure if anybody's watching this, you can just keep going. Mm -hmm. So it's how big your wallet is and how much you want to spend, don't you? Really. So it's good enough but, for, for me. Yes, basically. and good enough for probably 99% of people out there. And what's your thought on the colour? Because when, uh, when, when this I'm car a green was, man. Well, when, yeah. the, when this car was parked out there in the yeah. storage area, that's actually, that's got really nice natural light coming through. And I mean, the depth of the paint was just fantastic. It was so, oh, you so saw that the, Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to get it outside, actually. It's I think we should get it outside and have a look under the light. Yeah. But yeah, if you go in under this light, the paint does look now really fresh and probably better than when it came out of the factory. Having a few stone chip marks here and there. I, I mean, mm. I, I absolutely love it. I know that it drives fantastically well when I brought it down from Scotland. Uh, you know, it didn't look that bad when I picked it up. No. But obviously, with your eye and yeah. your sort of OCD yeah. across it all, you're going to pick up so much more than I have. And I have to say, looking at it now, it, I mean, it's just fantastic. Cheers, Damien. It's, you know, yeah. look at it. Look at the colour <laughs> of this thing. It just looks amazing. Like you say, probably better than when it came out of the factory. Yeah, because there would have been somebody using a sponge and bucket yeah. back in those days. <laughs> well, first of all, the big question, tech art wing or normal wing, what's your thoughts? Normal wing. So you, you think I normal love ring? that, but I'm a bit of an original man. I like things being stand okay. out, of the hour, out of the factory. So given you've seen the condition of the flat thing, there's a reason why it wasn't on the car, and that's because it's got lots of scratches on it. Or it's been done off the car, where it's been put True. in storage, maybe. True. Or both, yeah, could be, could be both. Really, we're going to have to, what, completely respray that? Or yeah, what? I would say so. Okay. You, could, you could probably take the badge off, sand some of the scratches out, which is maybe worth, worth trying, yeah. and then get a new badge. What do yeah. you think then, Guy? <laughs> original flat or keep the tech art, and then if original flat, totally repainted or just sort of buffed a bit? You let us know in the comments. Okay, so the question on everyone's lips, how much does something like this cost? Yeah, first choice detailing, we have protection detail, mainly for new cars. You can opt for that. So that's you, the base level. That's the base level, so that's a single stage. You've done the maintenance wash that we were talking about earlier, yeah. and then it's a single stage machine, okay. polish. What price for that? Roughly starts about 600. And then for something like this, you're looking at 12 to 1400. So this is a two stage machine polish. Okay. And then if you're going correction for this sort of size, it would probably be about 15 to 1600. 
So if you want, so the super bonkers stage. Yeah, yeah. Is what? 15 to 1600 on this, okay. I would say. So there you have it, all the stages required to turn a 993 C4S from Scotland from being in fairly good condition to pretty much showroom condition or better. What we're going to do now is obviously drive this car out of FCD. I'm going to take it for a blast and enjoy all that beautiful paintwork glistening in the sun. And the car's finally completed, it's time to take it back to the car guy's garage. Just as it rains. Thanks for watching this episode on the restoration of my 993 C4S. If you like what I'm doing on the car guys, please subscribe, leave comments and likes. There'll be another video next week.